a great adventure romance fantasy set on a desert island created by the same extraordinary mind that introduced Peter Pan to the world. Crichton, the admirable butler of the title, is the absolute ideal of a butler. There has never been quite such a perfect butler. He is an excellent fellow who has achieved greatness in his calling because he thinks it is a truly noble one. Our story begins as Crichton is preparing for the tea that Lord Loam holds once a month, an occasion when the family gathers with the servants, and in order to elevate and ennoble the servants, the family must treat them as equals, an entirely embarrassing and awkward exercise for all concerned, it seems, except his lordship. Naturally, as in every good fantasy, Lord Loam's repeated wish to return to nature comes true when, quite like the Swiss family Robinson, the family's planned yacht trip goes awry, and the family is shipwrecked on a desert island. Crichton and a maid have accompanied the family on the journey, and Crichton insists that equality is against nature, and that there will always be the ones who obey and the ones who lead. But Crichton begins to question the leadership of the aristocrats on the island. Their leadership, that seemed so natural in England, no longer seems to serve them so well, and slowly Crichton takes over that role. As the years pass, the entire family undergoes a transformation and builds a new society. The family become hunters and fishers, and Crichton has become a kind of king of the island. But what will happen when they are rescued and returned to civilization and their old society? Directed by Morris Panitch, the admirable Crichton is on stage at the Festival Theatre until October 29th. <laughs>